Several funds are helping the families of the military servicemen who were killed in Chattanooga back on July 16th. But one person who says she was slightly injured is running into a problem getting compensation she needs to pay her medical bills. She says it's a frustrating wait. When the shootings erupted back on July 16th, Tammy Culpepper says she was on the Riverwalk across the street from the Navy Operations and Marine Reserve Center. Somebody in the crowd was saying active shooter. The others were saying, run, someone's out here killing everybody. Go, go, go. She says she injured her ankle and her knee running for cover, but did not seek medical attention immediately. That day, no, sir. The next day, because I was so traumatic, I couldn't come out the house that day. My, I couldn't do it. Mrs. Culpepper says she does not not have insurance, so she put off going to a doctor until the pain got so bad she had to go a week later. One week after that doctor's visit, with medical bills on the horizon, Mrs. Culpepper filed a claim with the state's Criminal Injuries Compensation Fund. That agency pays eligible people for out-of-pocket expenses not covered any other way. She also filed a compensation claim to get money from the National Compassion Fund, but the FBI denied that one. Some people have help and some people don't. And that's why I'm here, is to try to get some justice for what they told me to do. The FBI did not respond to our calls, but Shelley King of the Tennessee Treasury Department says Mrs. Culpepper's claim with the state is under consideration right now. King says the claim staff is looking at any expense related to her injury. We do ask for some official documentation that shows that the crime was reported. And we show, you know, ask for some kind of documentation on treatment. Meanwhile, Mrs. Culpepper says she's awaiting the medical bills. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. I don't know what I'm going to do. Claims with the state of Tennessee can take up to 90 days. Culpepper's claim is $761 and is one of two the state has received relating to the shootings back on July 16th. If you're the victim of a crime in Tennessee and you need to file for victims' compensation through the state, click on this story at newschannel9.com and we'll show you where to do that.